Hi guys, welcome to my sixth episode of Unreal Engine 4 online games tutorial series. Uh, before we will start it, let's remember what we've done before. In the first episode, we uh, learned how to create a listen server. Uh, in a second uh, tutorial, we uh, created a dedicated server and talked about difference between listen and dedicated server. In third episode, we recreated our project with the new engine version and we little bit reworked our uh, code architecture and uh, uh, create a more clean um, folder structure. In the fourth episode we learned how to work with git system. In fifth episode we overview the course plan, what we want to create, what required skills we need and our technologies stack. Today uh, today we will install Microsoft SQL Server and SQL Server Management Studio. And after that we will create an empty ASP.NET Core project. So let's start it. First, what we need? First we need to uh, install Microsoft SQL Server and SQL Server Management Studio. Uh, SQL Server Management Studio is like application to to management uh, to manage your uh, database, your uh, Microsoft SQL uh, database. Uh, so first, what we need is uh, open, uh, for example, Google and uh, type Microsoft SQL Server 2019 Express, and then we can find this page and we need to click download button. It's very simple. Then. Uh, we open this application and uh, we uh, can choose uh, how to be, how we want to install our application. It's basic installing or custom installing. In our case, we need a standard basic uh, installing. So we click basic. Uh, then uh, we can read uh, Microsoft SQL Server license terms. Yep, we click accept and then we can choose uh, in which folder we want to install our database, our Microsoft SQL database. And after that, we need to click install button. Great. Then we need to wait until this uh, application wind will download ourselves and uh, until this application will install it. Uh, if this application will uh, successfully install it, uh, we can see this window. In this window, um, uh, we need to save this connection string. This uh, connection string uh, will need for us to connect to our this database. So pay attention that you uh, actually save this um, uh, this uh, string. Uh, it's very important. Then we can click install SSMS. It's uh, open our browser and will open it at this um, website. And here we can download SQL Server Management Studio. So actually, uh, after this uh, step, uh, our database is successfully installed. And then we click install SSMS. Uh, and uh, we will start to download and installing a Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. It's actually application to uh, manage our um, database. Uh, great. Uh, here we can uh, click on this link and download uh, Management Studio. Then we open this application and we need to click install button. Uh, then, like before, um, we need to wait until this application will install it. Uh, then, uh, then uh, installer will talk to us, so I need to reboot, I need to restart your computer. Yeah, uh, click restart and after and after your computer will be restarted, uh, you can find a Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Um, for example, in your start menu. So actually you can uh, type just ask, uh, SQL uh, Server and here you can find Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. If you want, I recommend you to create just a shortcut on your, I don't know, in folder you want. Uh, 
Um, actually, then uh, we double click this uh, shortcut and we will uh, open Microsoft SQL Management Studio. After Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio will be installed, um, we will see next uh, window. So actually here we can connect to our database. For example, in our local host, in our installed Microsoft SQL Server database, or for example, Azure, it's it's very, very universal application to manage, to manage um, many different uh, databases. Um, great, and then after you click connect, you can see next uh, menu. So actually here you can find our uh, computer name. In my case, it's desktop, blah, 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 SQL, um, SQL Express uh, Server. And here in databases uh, folder, we can find uh, our future databases. When we will create in future our new database, we can find these databases here. That's all about how to install Microsoft SQL Server and SQL Server Management Studio. Great. Uh, if you can see uh, this uh, window, if you can see your computer, then SQL Express, and you can see this folder, great. Uh, it's all of this uh, installed successfully. Great. Uh, then um, after we done with that, we need to create an empty ASP.NET Core project. It will be our uh, game, uh, our login server for our game. It's it's uh, it was been a databases. It was it was been a database for uh, our game information, and uh, this will be our login uh, server. Uh, so first, what we need is open uh, Visual Studio. Uh, uh, it's open our Visual Studio, and here we can find create a new project button. So we click create new project. Then we need to find ASP.NET Core web application. If you uh, cannot find uh, this ASP.NET Core web application, uh, please uh, update your Visual Studio or uh, or find. Um, for example, a Visual Studio installer, uh, then a little bit wait, and here, um, oh, I need to update. Okay, let's wait until this application will be updated. Um, yes, great. And here you can uh, click modify and and here you you need to check uh, ASP.NET and web development. And here you can uh, see ASP.NET Core. So yeah, if you don't have this um, this workload, you cannot find uh, this in Visual Studio. Great. In my case, I have it. Uh, actually, we um, can choose C Sharp Web and find ASP.NET Core web application. Um, great. Then you can uh, define path to your uh, project folder and you can type your project name. You can uh, name it as you want. Uh, and next you click create button. Great. After that, uh, you need to check uh, to define um, a version of uh, ISPNet Core. In my case, I use a fifth version, ISPNet Core 5. Then we need to check ISPNet Core empty. It will be an empty project without any templates. It's just empty ISPNet Core project. Uh, then without a configure for HTTPS, we don't need it. And click a create button. Uh, after that, uh, after that, you can see next project. It's simple, empty ISP.NET Core project. And when you click this, this green uh, play button to start your project, uh, your browser will be open it and uh, you can find this hello world application. Let's see how, how it must be. Actually, this is my tutorial login server. Here yeah, I can um, open this uh, project. Uh, my project uh, has been uh, loaded and here I can click IAS Express and um, 
and I can see hello world in my browser. Uh, great, guys. Um, an empty ASP.NET Core project is created. Great. Uh, this is all for today. Uh, thank you for listening and see you later.